March of 2022. I'm doing a pretty intense maintenance schedule on my new to me 2008 Royal Star Venture. Right now I've just done the maintenance on the rear. I don't know what it's called. Sometimes on the website they call this some kind of a clutch hub or whatever for the rear wheel. What it is is there are rubber like motor mounts with collars in them or bushings inside of them that this has pins about that long. And this engages the final drive. Okay. They say if your bike has a noise, you can't quite track down. It could be this. This They have, uh, they get rust in them. I don't know how it gets in there, but I serviced that. It's got a snap ring right on the edge here. My fingernails touching it, okay? Uh, I'm pointing that out because you better have a snap ring tool that opens at least minimum an inch to an inch and a quarter to get that rascal back on and we and off actually it was easier to come off but it took me a while to get it back on uh, because my snap ring pliers only opened up about maybe seven eighths of an inch I had to do some create and <laughs> the thing wanted to disappear it would snap off there and it wanted to go straight to China. But uh, anyway, I finally got it back on. But whenever you're going to go to pull that, this push drive, uh, whatever you would call it, hub or whatever, whenever you go to take that off and clean it up and lubricate it, this bike's an 08. That's probably never been done. This is 2022. That's 14 years. It needed it. But the reason I'm making this video is I'm at the back wheel at the swing arm and I'm giving everything a shake. Now here I'm going to move the swing arm side to side. Listen. Look how the, look at the shock for a reference. I can't hold it still. The uh, swing arm is moving side to side and up and down. I don't know if that's worn bushings on the shock linkage or if that's the top bushing on the shock or if it's the uh, swing arm bearings which uh, I wasn't looking forward to going that deep, but maintenance is intense. And uh, that which ought to be done and isn't gets more intense. So I will update you. A lot of people will probably miss this because these machines, unfortunately, do not come with center stands. So you can't just run up and grab the back wheel and see if it's moving around because you don't have a center stand, which is uh, why I have that wonderful $50 investment there on eBay motorcycle scissor lift. I think it's probably gone up by now. I bought that last year. But uh, that lifted the bike up high enough to get that wheel out of there without uh, having to put it on my lift, which is scary for a bike this heavy for me doing it myself. And uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's a worthwhile investment. I will keep everyone updated uh, on the progress. So I'm going to take the shock off and do all the... Uh, bearings, clean everything up, and see if I have to pull the swinging arm off, which I'm not looking forward to because you have to pull this pipe off to get to the bolt down in there. 
and I hate messing with exhaust flange bolts. I've they these the castings on the uh, cylinders. I've I've seen it. I, I've had uh, I won't even tell you. I've had a lot of motorcycles, and a lot of times when you go to pull a stud out, or you don't even want to pull it out, you. You go to take something that hasn't been touched and it really hasn't really wasn't meant to be touched sometimes the threads especially on moto Guzzi's, it just disintegrates on you and that's that's scary but uh you end up uh i don't know what you do but i i, I just hate messing with exhaust flange studs but I have to pull this off. There's a split down here somewhere. And to get this final piece off, to get to the swinging arm. And I'll take it from there. I will keep you updated.